Wilkes Dessert Stories. Ice Cream. Hi there. Welcome to Wilkes Dessert Story. Tell me, what dessert do you crave most on a hot summer's day? Hmm, you may think of several, but for me, the answer is always ice cream. So have you ever wondered how this cold, creamy concoction was created? Mmm. Today, I will tell you the story of ice cream. <laughs> the very first ice cream was made in China. 3,000 years ago, Chinese people made a special dessert by adding spices and fruits to cold, shaved ice. But this dessert was closer to a sorbet than an ice cream. The dessert was carried by Arab merchants who traveled to ancient Persia. It continued to spread to nearby countries, Greece and Rome. It is said that Greece's Alexander the Great and Roman Emperor Nero enjoyed mixing honey and fruits with snow brought from the Alps. In the 13th century Chinese Yuan Dynasty, ice cream made from ice and milk made its first appearance. During this time, the famous explorer Marco Polo was in China. Huh? He saw people eating a food he'd never seen before. What is that? Ah, it's a popular snack these days in our Yuan Dynasty. It's cooling and delicious. Lately, it's all I eat. <laughs> Could I try a little bite? Of course you can. Ah. Mm. Delicioso. The cold, creamy sweetness of it melts in my mouth. I feel like I'm running through a field of pure white snow that's a dripping with honey. How do you make this a magic treat? First, you start by grinding the ice. Then you add some fruits and spices. And top it off with milk. Marco Polo brought the ice cream recipe back to Italy with him. And that ice cream recipe that he carried from China was in turn brought to France by the Italian princess Catherine de' Medici when she married King Henry II. Ice cream was spread all across Europe, and it also crossed the sea to get to England. There, it reached the hands of Gerald Tassane, the royal chef of King Charles. That's when it became the ice cream we know today. The first published ice cream recipe was in Aunt Mary Eels' cookbook in 1718 England. In 1744, the word ice cream was listed in the Oxford English Dictionary for the first time. But because ice cream melted so easily, <laughs> it was a dessert that only the very wealthy could enjoy. <sighs> hmm, might there be a way for everyone to be able to enjoy ice cream? Extra, extra! Jacob hmm. Perkins has invented the refrigerator! Huh? Then one day, Jacob Fussell read an article about the invention of the refrigerator. That's it. I can keep the ice cream cold in the refrigerator. This way, I'll be able to sell ice cream to a lot of people. Once Jacob Fussell came up with the idea to store ice cream in the refrigerator, he built an ice cream factory. Jacob Fussell's ice cream spread all across the world. That's how all of us got to enjoy delicious, cool ice cream in the hot summertime. Ice cream has a history dating back from ancient China to the present. It was created and developed thanks to the efforts of many people. How about we all enjoy some ice cream today and remember all those people's hard work? Well, that's the end of today's dessert story. See you next time!